Welcome to the tutorial of Vector Network Analyzer Calibration. Today we are going to perform a one port calibration of this analyzer. You can see that the network analyzer has two ports, port number one and port number two. The model for the VNA is E8362B. The minimum frequency is 10 MHz while the maximum frequency is 20 GHz. In front of me you can see a mechanical calibration kit. Each analyzer is accompanied with a mechanical standard calibration kit. The model number for this kit is 85052D and we will select this model number when calibrating the analyzer. Each mechanical standard kit contains an open, short and a broadband load. Always ensure to use a proper wrench to connect the cable. When connecting the cable, use the wrench to insert some force to fasten the nut. Now we'll start off with the calibration. The first step of the calibration is to select the desired frequency. In this case, we'll select 1 GHz as a start frequency using the keypad on the right. Select the stop frequency to 5 GHz. Select calibration from the menu and calibration wizard. As you can see there are three options. We will select unguided calibration. Use mechanical standard. Click next. We will select a one port sold calibration where sold stands for short, open, load and through. The calibration kit by default is selected as 85052D, which we are using right now. You can select other calibration kit from the menu if you have other than this calibration kit. We'll start off with the calibration. Click next. And now we need to connect an open load. As you can see, this is an open and we will connect the open as a load. Click on open. The connector we are using is 3.5 mm female. Select, press OK and now we are done. Now we need to select a short As you can see, short, we will connect it to the connector and select short. Female, short, press OK. The final step is to select a broadband load. and select load. Press next and we are finished with the calibration. You can auto scale to select the desired S11 response of the broadband load. As you can see it is highly matched and is showing around minus 70 dB matching with the load. By removing the load you can see the response would become like an open circuit. You can auto scale 
as you can see the response it's around 0 dB thank you for watching the video